In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a personalized brand kit on Canva so you can create your content with ease and efficiency. Hello, hello friends. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, it is Larissa Nguyen, Realtor with EXP Realty. This is the place on the internet where I help real estate agents elevate their content creation game using Canva and how to take their real estate careers to the next level with the wolf back here at EXP Realty. Now in this video, we're talking about Canva brand kits, something I cannot and will not live with out now to preface this video if you use a free version of canva you are only able to have one brand kit but if you have canva pro like moi you can have multiple brand kits with multiple color palettes in each brand kit so if you would like to try canva pro out for 30 days for free i have a canva affiliate link down below so check it out now to start here we are at the canva dashboard and you will find the brand kits on the left hand side over here and you'll know it's a premium feature as it has that uh, infamous canva crown there but we're gonna click it anyways brand kit now you see i have two brand kits here i have one for my real estate business and one for my tutorial content youtube channel you are watching right now so let's begin i'm gonna show you how i created my real estate brand kit now before i start i do want to say um because i am with exp realty agents here have the freedom and autonomy to basically create their real estate brand as they please provided that we do follow the compliance and branding compliance of exp realty because exp realty knows that the real estate agent is the real estate brand so if you are with a franchise brokerage you may not have the freedom to create uh a brand like this so anyways uh, if you would like to talk about EXP Realty uh, link in description box below I can help you out uh, anyways now to start you can name your brand kit uh, let's see I'm just gonna name it real estate here right create now to kind of give you an idea of what is going to happen here is you can add in your logos and you can add your brand colors and your preferred fonts now for browns you just want to click or brand logo you just want to click that plus button and go where your computer has your brand logos so here i have uh my logo and then i have a picture of myself so i'm just gonna put that there because i use them quite often and you'll see here with uh, the logo, it is a PNG with a transparent background. And you'll know it's a transparent background because it has that grid. And that's exactly what you want. You want your logo to have a transparent background. Now for the color palette. So when I was kind of creating my kind of feel for my brand, what a tool that I use was Adobe Color Wheel, which I will link in the description box below as well. So this is a great tool to use if, again, like I said, you are looking to start creating your personal brand. There's lots of things you can do here. So with here, I have shades on. So you can just basically play around with the different colors play around with what feels best to you but really what you're looking for is the hex codes down here because this is what you are what you need when you are uploading your color palette so to do the color palette you want to press that plus button and you basically just want to copy and paste that hex code into there so I have mine saved on the side so I'm just going to quickly copy and paste the hex codes in All right, so here I have five different colors. Um, you can have as many as you want inside that certain palette. Again, you can create multiple by adding another one, custom one, or Canva also kind of gives you a palette template as well. So that's something you can play around with too. So for my preferred fonts, you can use what Canva already has, but you can also upload your own fonts as well using the upload a font button over here. I haven't really played around with that because I. I already like what Canva provides. There's lots to play with. So with this, I, for my big font here, I use the playlist script and you can set the size as well. Then for my subheading, I usually like the open sans extra bold 
Again, you can set the size as well. So let's just do that. And for my uh, body text, I usually just do open sans because it's simple and easy to read, especially if you are doing a lot of real estate posts as well. So I'll, I'll link tutorials <laughs> above so you can check those out as well. Now that's basically your brand kit ready to go. So I'm going to show you how to actually use this. So go back to the home page and let's just randomly oops do an Instagram blank post. And so if you just click the background here and you go up to that color background color, you'll see if you if you click the down button here, if you, again if you with if you have Canva Pro, you can toggle between your different color palettes, which is, again is very very useful. So here uh, we just created the real estate kit. So now we have access to all of our brand colors. So we don't have to scramble for the different colors and searching for the hex codes and it being a headache. So now that we have our colors here, now to use the text, again, very simple, go to your text and that's, it's already there for you as well. Again, you can toggle in between your different uh, brand kits but you just click on it and boom, boom, bang, ready to go, easy to use. So again, you're not scrambling to find your text. Now to use the logos that we uploaded, um, it's kind of in a funny spot. It's kind of all the way down here. So you have to scroll down here. It's in the logos. Again, you can toggle in between your different brand kits and their different logos. But here you go again, how we talked about having a logo with a PNG, the transparent background, and here is my photo here. So that is how you create a personalized brand kit on Canva. It will save you so much time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other Canva tutorials over here. And until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye friends.